Oil spills like the Deepwater Horizon in 2010 are difficult and expensive to clean up. Michigan engineers are developing a better way. They've created a filter coating that repels oil but absorbs water. The way the surface works is we have the oil hating part on the top and the water loving part at the bottom. So when water comes in contact with the surface, then the water loving part of the surface comes up and it latches onto water and pulls the water through and just the water just goes through the material. It could enable a system that separates oil and water with gravity alone and without using additional chemicals. As an example, it was very hard to get rid of all the oil that was, um, that was thrown around in the Gulf of Mexico. In particular, what happened was over time, the oil companies added a ton of dispersants on top of the oil. And that decision was widely debated because what it did was it caused oil droplets uh, to be dispersed within the ocean. From the surface it looked like the ocean is very, very clean, but underneath there were miles of plumes um, of oil going through to the sea floor. And once you disperse these oils into water by using these surfactants, it's much, much harder to separate these out. When the researchers drop water onto their treated surface, it gets absorbed, but oil droplets beat up. No other material behaves like this. On a conventional untreated surface like this piece of fabric, the oil is absorbed and the water beats up. You'll see that the oil drop is just going through. See, the oil just went through, water beats up. This is normal behavior. This is counterintuitive behavior. You don't see this often. Water actually reconfigures the shape of this new coating, smoothing it out and making it more conducive for more water to flow through it. The researchers say their filter can be used continuously for 100 hours without getting clogged. Our motivation, definitely there is an environmental aspect to it. Um, you know, as, as uh, responsible engineers, we have to think about the big challenges in, in our society right now, uh, be it energy uh, creation or being able to use energy in a responsible manner without affecting the environment. The hope is really that whenever we have other oil spills or other wastewater treatments that we need to do, we can do this separation in a very, very energy efficient manner, probably one of the most energy efficient processes because Essentially, the entire process is just using gravity. So just by using gravity with no other external pressure source required, which is, which is perhaps a big difference from what's uh, being used currently in, in industry right now.